Welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to work with parting surfaces. Parting surfaces are surfaces that are extruded from a parting line. These are used to separate the mold cavity from the mold core. All right, let's get to work. We'll activate the parting surfaces tool. The first thing we've got to do is specify the pull direction. Next, we set the extrusion direction for the parting surface. We've got three options, tangent to surface, normal to surface, and perpendicular to pull. The perpendicular to pull option is what you're going to be using most frequently. Our next job is to select a parting line, and I'm going to select parting line one from the tree. Let's collapse the tree now. Input a distance, let's say 25 millimeters. Press tab to register. There's an angle option here. It's currently grayed out and that's available for the tangent to surface and normal to surface options. Not for perpendicular, obviously, since the angle is predefined. Here we set the transition between adjacent surfaces. Down below are more options. Knit all surfaces. Most of the time, you're going to want to check this option so that the surfaces that you create are knit together automatically. Show preview, self-explanatory. This gives us the preview in the graphic area. Manual mode. This gives us handles in the graphic area so that we can adjust the parting surfaces ourselves. I'm going to uncheck this last option and then we're going to click OK. And accept. Let's take a look at the Surface Bodies folder. We've got one new folder now, Parting Surface Bodies, and here's Parting Surface 1. This concludes our video about working with parting surfaces.